Good day Philippines, wherever you are, this is Mike Padua and uh, it's already Monday afternoon here in the Philippine Islands and this is the, our latest uh, Jenny update for today, October 2, 2023 and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. So before we begin with our update, uh, I would like to uh, let you know that our website Typhoon 2000 is now celebrating 25 years of providing uh, reliable Typhoon inf info for the Philippines, for the Filipino people all around the world. And uh, we are turning 26 this November 2. And uh, before we uh, proceed with our update, I would like to again recommend the Comunidad's uh, Climate Action Center software. And if you're willing to do so, just click on the banner of Comunidad at typhoon2000.ph and uh, you will be forwarded to a Google form for you to answer or to submit. Or you can uh, uh, e email uh, Mr. Iron Cabasal at iron.cabasal at comunidad.co or at his uh, cell phone number 0976163-7245 if you're willing to know more about the product. So that's the uh, uh, Climate Action Center software from Comunidad. And uh, let's now proceed with our update. Here's the uh, latest fast animation on the rapidly intensifying uh, Typhoon uh, Jenny with international name Koino and this uh, uh, typhoon has rapidly intensified during the past uh, 12 hours from 150 to 185 although at this time it, it has slowed down it, uh, its intensification but still intensifying for the past 6 hours now packing winds of uh, 105 knots or 195 kph as it moves closer towards Batanes and Taiwan area as you can see, the uh, circulation has become larger and it's uh, now a large uh, system with wind uh, ranges of 55 kph up to uh, about 1000 kilometers in diameter or 500 kilometer radius. The rain bands of this system is also expanding. It's currently at um, average size at uh, maybe at 800 kilometers as of this time and uh, it is likely to bring uh, Scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across uh, northern Luzon, mostly cloudy skies, but it will become more frequent over Batanes Group as the uh, rain bands or the inner rain bands of this storm will pass over the area beginning Wednesday to Thursday. And right now, the southwest monsoon, although it's starting to weaken, is uh, bringing some breezy conditions of up to uh, 50 or 60 kph across Mimaropa. Uh, becoming more frequent over Occidental Mindoro with uh, occasional monsoon rains and the western sections of Visayas, Samvanga Peninsula and also later tomorrow or Wednesday across the western sections of Central and Northern Luzon. Here in Bicol region we are experiencing some cloudy conditions with uh, light to moderate breeze of uh, the 10 to uh, 40 kph. There are some uh, scattered uh, or isolated rain showers and thunderstorms that are be being felt in various sections of Bicol. And uh, we are also keeping an eye on another LPA here. It's uh, just a shallow one, but uh, there will be a new one that will form somewhere here within this uh, surface trough to the south southeast of Guam. And we are going to uh, keep an eye on this uh, upcoming system. And if you take a look at the zoom in satellite animation, so there you go. These are now the uh, monsoon rains being felt over Mindoro, particularly Occidental uh, Mindoro, and uh, also here across the western sections of uh, Visayas, including Palawan, the Kalamian Group, and the uh, Sambuanga Peninsula, as uh, forecasted by the uh, European model, while the uh, uh, western edge of the uh, rain bands of this uh, typhoon is uh, already being felt across the eastern sections of Cagayan Valley although it's mostly cloudy with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms nothing unusual yet as of this time 
And if we take a look at the uh, track that we issued around uh, 12 noon, this is uh, from the uh, update number 5 as of 11 a.m. So this will be the forecast track of the storm or the typhoon and it's likely to intensify up to 215 or 205 kph. It's still a higher end category 3 but we are not going to uh, uh, rule out the possibility that it can reach super typhoon status if the oceanic heat content uh, that is expected to uh, that the storm is expected to pass over will uh, help to uh, fuel more intensity of this uh, typhoon but the good news over the uh, Batanes group of islands the worst of the storm will pass just uh, roughly uh, 150 to or 200 kilometers to the north and it's not expected to bring damaging winds although uh, tropical storm force winds of 60 to 100 kph will be expected across Batanes group of islands so here's the uh, main core of the storm and it's expected to make landfall over uh, southern Taiwan during the early morning of uh, Thursday, October 5 or around midnight of October 5. So it depends on the speed and it will be at its closest approach to the Batanes group by Wednesday evening. Okay, and then after making landfall over uh, uh, southern Taiwan, it will exit via Kaohsiung City uh, in the morning of Thursday, October 5 and exit the Philippine air responsibility and it's likely to weaken slowly until it will dissipate to the south of uh, Hong Kong uh, likely on October 8 or 9 so that will be the forecast right now of this uh, typhoon uh, Jenny and as you can see here the uh, bulk of the rainfall of the storm is likely to affect uh, Batanes Group of Islands. That's 50 to 100 millimeters beginning Wednesday to Thursday. And uh, only isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected over the northern portions of extreme northern Luzon. That's Ilocos Norte and uh, northern Cagayan. But we also expect some areas of northern Luzon to experience 20 to 50 millimeters of rainfall that will uh, bring uh, lots of uh, irrigation of the uh, drought-stricken areas of northern Luzon because of the El Nino that we are experiencing right now. So this is quite a relief and uh, that's good news to the uh, folks up there in northern Luzon. And uh, if you take a look at the Asian agency's track, so all of them is now shifting the uh, possible uh, track here over southern Taiwan within the next uh, 72 hours or three days from now with a possible landfall in the morning uh, early morning of uh, Thursday October 5 so we will keep you updated on the system and if we take a look at the uh, global models so it looks like they're now blending up to 48 hours and a little bit up to 72 hours but after that it looks like some of them will move more to the west making landfall near Hong Kong and another one will recurve to the northeast and uh, there's also this American model moving out moving towards the southwest because of a uh, early arrival of the northeasterly wind flow which is quite strong as of this early okay and because the northeast monsoon is set to start November so we are already seeing some northeasterly winds blowing at this uh, early okay October uh, 2 so that will be uh, the scenario for October 5 so that's this uh, the uh, tracking of the uh, global models the European model and the American model is quite close on its track with high confidence that it will, it will make landfall over southern Taiwan now here's the uh, oceanic heat content that I'm uh, talking about that the storm is still moving into warmer uh, sea surface temperature with uh, higher heat content that will uh, trigger some intensification of this system. That's why uh, we are not ruling out this system to not to reach uh, uh, super typhoon intensity. So uh, please take all necessary precautions, uh, folks down there over southern Taiwan, particularly our Filipino community living down there uh, in Taiwan. 
And if we take a look at the easterly wave.com ensemble from the European model, here's the ensemble tracks of Typhoon Jenny, and here's the next one. And it looks like uh, this will be the next uh, tropical cyclone, although it's still uh, uh, low pressure or up to uh, tropical depression status. Uh, some of them are reaching a tropical storm strength, but it's still uh, uncertain as of this time. And look at the shift of the track towards central Luzon. So we are going to keep an eye on this. As of this time, it's still uh, too early to tell if this will push through. The uncertainty is so high. That's around 0% probability. So let's wait and see in the coming days. And before we leave you, here's the latest rainfall accumulation forecast. And it looks like uh, the uh, uh, rainfall of more than 100 millimeters is focused along uh, Batanes Group of Islands with uh, some of them up to uh, 50 millimeters along the southern portions of Batanes, while the rest is uh, below uh, 50 millimeters, which is uh, not uh, uh, alarming. Okay, and here's the uh, last hurrah of the uh, Habagat or the southwest monsoon, being some. Uh, 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall along the coastal areas of central Luzon from Pangasinan down to uh, Batangas Cavite area and the western sections of occidental Mindoro that includes Mamburao and also affecting uh, uh, the Sulu archipelago and the western sections of uh, Panay with a little bit along the uh, western sections of Negros and also some uh, light to moderate rainfall here across northern Palawan and the Calamian group of islands. So it is more focused over occidental Mindoro. Sablayan uh, occidental Mindoro will be greatly affected by this uh, rainfall of the uh, last blow of the Havagat. And also here across the western coastal areas of Sambales and uh, Bataan. Also the uh, western uh, coastal waters or coastal areas of uh, um, Batangas. So uh, that's it. Uh, the rest of the Philippine Islands is uh, just uh, cloudy with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms we have here along the uh, coastal uh, areas of uh, Pasacao and also Minalabak and the coastal areas of Balatan in Camarines Sur. So uh, all the way across Visayas is uh, not much, just uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms. And also some areas of uh, northern Mindanao, including uh, Carga and uh, Samwanga Peninsula, will have isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, but not alarming to create uh, great flooding. So it's only here along the western sections of uh, Mimaropa and uh, Central Luzon because of the uh, last hurrah of the Habagat. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Monday afternoon. And uh, we will return uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, to give you more updates on the approach of Typhoon Jenny. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying, Stay safe always. Be hashtag weather wiser, hashtag typhoon wiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.